hello, haha, <laughs> hmm, yes, I feel like I should be saying hi, hello to myself because it has been a hot minute since I last filmed. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I'm alive, I'm doing just fine. The last two months were a little rough. Uh, I've been busy for the last like eight months and also I've not been buying any makeup. So all the reviews that you've seen have been things that were sent to me. So <laughs> I decided to finally break that streak of not buying and buy a palette. Yes, I know. Good job me and adding to the shit that goes into the environment. I decided to do an homage. I think that's how you said, it. I don't even speak English. I don't know. To the Jaclyn Hill OG palette. That was the video that kind of set me off. I gained a lot of subs from that video and I also got a lot of views from that video. So uh, when I saw that palette number two was coming out, you best believe your homegirl got it. Today's video is going to be all about this palette, uh, how it compares to the other one, the formulation, this little toot here, um, and just my overall thoughts of how I feel about this palette. So if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look, and if you would like to know how I feel about the palette, if it's worth your money, you know, she's been in a lot of drama lately for products being crappy. Is this crappy or is this good? I don't know. Watch to find out. So yeah, let's just jump right into this. Hi, hello, love being this up close. <sighs> I don't even know how to do makeup anymore, so this is gonna be really fun. I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape to kind of prime. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of work this in. So last night when I got this, I did open it up, but I didn't really like check out the whole array. I guess I could just do this okay this is gonna be a little blurry but bear with me so you kind of have a good amount of like natural neutral warm tone shades here and then you have a lot of different pops of color you have a nice rich black down here and then you have some shimmers apparently there's a glitter and I'm assuming it's gonna be this yellow right here um, this should be like a highlight color and then this looks matte so I'm just gonna rub my finger in here that is a a very very almost pinky paley kind of color that should be a good color to kind of dust over your eyelid to um, set everything Fine. okay so I'm gonna go in with the yellow which is called no joke and I'm taking a big fluffy brush like this and I'm just going to first of all blow it out and then pack it on the lid but you could do it backwards you could obviously pack the yellow on and then blow it out but I feel like I preferred this method so pretty pigmented um yeah that's like super there so I'm also gonna pack this on the lid using a flat ish brush like that and I'm gonna take my blending brush and smoke it out even more. And then taking my finger, I'm gonna go into Talia, which is apparently supposed to be the glitter shade, but it's definitely not. Like it's not a, it's not like a glitter that you would just think like, oh, this is a glitter. It's still very, very like milled down. And it feels like, it feels pretty sticky in there, so you don't need any like base or any glitter glue or anything like that, which I really am enjoying. I'm gonna do like an inner corner and I'm gonna take the shade I'm in it because it's the only highlight shade in here. Oh shit, okay. Um, I thought that was just going to be a, um, like a, like a, like a, very white stark thing but it's got a lot of pink in there which um i'm not entirely um jazzed about i feel like some orange would be nice in here so i'm gonna take a little blending brush but it's tapered and i'm gonna go into the color i'm feeling myself which is like an apricot orange color then i'm just gonna kind of Put this in the crease and the outer corner, which like obviously I should have done this very differently, but <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know how to do eyeshadow anymore. <laughs> but this is going on very nicely. It's not muddying with the yellow, which is dope. And then I'm gonna just kind of reapply that. And then maybe flawed and odd, add some of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I almost like this 
flawed and odd on top way more than I like to Leah. I'm gonna take a little like tapered brush like like that and then I'm gonna go into Temptress which is the black color here and I'm going to just kind of add this to my lash line. So basically I'm gonna go do my other eyeball, do the rest of my face and then jump back on, do underneath of the eyes and then kind of discuss how I feel about the palette. So catch you. Okay, so here are the top of my lids finished. Taking a little pencil brush like this, I'm gonna dip into, I think the color of my man, which is this orange right here. And I'm going to smoke the lower lash line with it. And I'm also gonna go into feeling myself and kind of add that on there to maybe make it a little bit more orangey than like this pink. I'm gonna kind of swirl this brush on like my wrist and go into Certified. Highlight my inner corner. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of No Joke on that same brush and kind of add. I'm gonna swirl the brush on my wrist again and go into Certified and kind of just pop that underneath my brows. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara underneath, zoom you out, and we're gonna talk about all the things that we need to talk about. Wow, I look like a completely different human. I kinda am digging it super nice and springy and bright. So I want to start off by just comparing the two um, and talking about the changes that she has made to the packaging. So as you can see, the material that the palettes are made from are very different. Uh, this is the like OG right when it first came out. The names are not on the back of the palette. So there was supposed to be a little card when you first bought this palette that said all the names of the shades, which I never got. And once the palette ran out, they then released like the second batch, and the second batch had the names on the back, which mine doesn't, it just says Jekyll Hill all over. And um, this was like a matte kind of finish, uh, which as you can see, got really dirty. While the new palette is slightly different, it's a shiny material, which means that things are just gonna wipe right off and things are not gonna be attracted to it as much. Um, the Morphe logo is different, the Jaclyn Hill is different, and it kind of comes off the packaging, like you can feel it. And then the names of the shadows are on here, right in front of your face, which is ideal. So the most important thing that I was worried about was, is the formulation going to be exactly the same? And yes, it is. They blend beautifully. I like the color scheme. I like that you still have your naturals and neutrals, um, but you also have these pops of colors that you can do a lot with. You have a dark black. The only thing that I would have done a little bit differently is maybe have like one or two less of like these transition shades. Have a non, like an extra non pinky highlight shade and also like a deep dark brown. I do love that they have a setting color in here. I like that it's bright. I like that there's naturals and neutrals in here so you can create an everyday look or you can go ahead and do something nice, bright and colorful that's gonna, you know, put you out of your comfort zone. So yeah, 10 out of 10, honestly, very pleasantly surprised. Met my expectations, so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully I'll film more videos. I don't know, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see on the channel um, that's not like makeup review related because I don't foresee myself starting to buy makeup again. I'm trying to be, you know, more minimalistic. Mi minimalistic, that's not a word. I'm trying to be more minimalistic and not a hoarder and just not more wasteful for the environment. So if you want to see anything besides makeup reviews, leave me some ideas down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Come on, life is changing fast. Who I am and who I wanna be. A single mom who works too hard, who loves her kids and not stops. Don't drink this much coffee, kids. See ya on the flip side.